What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video I'm going to go through installing add-on pads as well as the Flash add-on pad for the Epic Games Store version of Grand Theft Auto 5. So before we begin, there's a couple of things that we need. I already downloaded add-on pads and having a look at the requirements over here, this is what you'll need. Open IV, if you don't already have this installed and set up, there's a link in the description down below. Then we need Scripthook, Scripthook5.net as well as Native U. So of course I don't have Native U installed. But for this tutorial, I'll go through and install Scripthook and Scripthook5.net as well. Recently, Scripthook 5 was updated for the new Epic Games Store version of the game, so things should work properly. I'll go ahead and download it from this link. I'll click download, have a look at Scripthook 5, click the zip to download, and on the native UI releases page over here, I'll click release.zip as well. So now we've downloaded all of the three requirements and the last one, OpenIV we've already installed and set up previously, again linked in the description down below. So to begin, let's go ahead and open up Grand Theft Auto 5's folder. For you, it'll likely be in C, Program Files, Epic Games, GTA 5, though for me it's on a different drive. For me, it's in E, Epic Games, GTA 5. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up Scriptook 5. Looking inside of the zip, inside of the bin folder, we have these files over here. I'll be moving across everything but native trainer. So D input 8 and script hook 5. Drag and drop them across into your GTA 5 folder as such. And if you get the option to replace, simply click replace. Then we'll open up the script hook 5.net file. We'll select the ASI DLL DLL as such. And we'll drag and drop these across into the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder and replace if we have to. There we go. Now we've installed script hook 5 and script hook 5.net. Let's get to installing native view. Scrolling up to the top of the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, we should have a scripts file. Of course, if you don't, you can go ahead and create it and it should probably be empty unless you've gone ahead and installed a different mod. Over here, I have Natural Vision Remastered, which will be linked in the description down below as well. If you don't have a scripts folder, make one. Then we'll go ahead and open up the native view zip that we downloaded, simply titled release, select everything and drag and drop them out into the scripts folder over here as such. Opening up the scripts folder, we should then see native UI.dll and native UI.xml. Closing out of the zip, we're done installing all of the requirements. So let's go ahead and download the actual mod itself. So check the description down below for a link to this page, add on pens 3.0.1, though of course it might be more updated at the time of you watching this. Click download and then download once again. Then I'll open the RAR, I'm currently using 7zip. Then we have these files over here. All we need to do is make sure that we're in the GTA 5 base folder. We can see scripts and GTA 5.exe. Then what we can do is simply select add on peds editor.exe, add on peds vars.xml, and scripts as such. And I'll drag and drop these three folders across into this plain GTA 5 folder over here as such. And as you can see, add on peds, add on peds vars, and inside of the scripts folder, we have ped selector. Great, so now we successfully installed that. Then what we need to do is open up the readme over here for some extra information. And as you probably notice, the requirements down here is what I was referring to earlier. Skipping over the introduction, having a look at step number three, all we need to do is open our scripts folder and copy the DLL, which we've already done, open the DLC packs folder and copy add-on peds into that. So we'll head into update x64 DLC packs. So mods, update, x64 DLC packs, drag and drop the folder from inside of the RAR into here. So DLC packs, and we'll drag and drop add-on peds into here. As such, opening it up, we have an RPF file. Anyways, we'll go back to the main GTA 5 folder and we'll look for the next step. So start open IV and enable edit mode. In the top right, I'll click edit mode and then yes. Then go to mods update, update RPF, common data. So mods update, update, common data and then we'll scroll down to the bottom over here and look for dlclist.xml. Right click, edit and we'll see this over here. Heading back to this page, all we need to do is copy this bold line over here into the file that we had opened earlier. So scrolling down to the bottom, making a new line, we'll paste it in and it'll look something like this. DLC packs colon forward slash add on peds forward slash. I don't think there's a difference between backwards and forward slashes, though everything else in here is a forward slash, so I'll go ahead and fix that. I'll hit save and we're basically done with that. Then save and import the edited DLC list, which we've already done because we didn't extract it. Then run add on peds editor.exe as admin and click rebuild. So looking back at our GTA 5 folder, add on peds, right click, run as admin, click yes, and it'll go ahead and load. 
Then I'll hit OK, OK, and our folder looks something like this. So as you can see, we've already got Fito Mafia and Superman, apparently. What I'll do is go ahead and click Rebuild. I'll hit OK, and we're basically done. Then in-game, I can press the L key to open the ped selector. Adding peds is where things get a little bit interesting. So there's two ways, normal peds and streamed peds. One of them has a folder, YFT, YMT. The other one has YDD, YTD, and then YFT and YMT files. The difference between these doesn't really matter unless you're making them. Aware of the ped differences, let's start. Follow the steps below to add your add-on peds to the game. So, looking in the description down below, there were a ton of requests for installing this. CW The Flash Characters Pack Add-on Ped Version. I'll go ahead and click Download and Download once again. Then I'll open up the file that downloads. Opening up the folder, we have a bunch of files over here and an INI folder. This is the installation. So, Install Add-on Peds Ped Selector, which we've already done. That's this one over here. Then place ped files to update X64 DLC packs, add-on peds, dlc.rpf, peds.rpf. So having a look here, all of these are the ped files other than the INI folder. So what we'll do is we'll take this folder over here and extract it to somewhere like our desktop for ease of access. There we have all of the files and the INI folder as well. I'll close out of the zip and we have our files over here. Looking inside of OpenIV, we're currently in mods update, update RPF, common data, but what we'll do is we'll head back to the mods folder as such. Then we'll head into update, x64, DLC packs, add on peds, dlc.rpf, and then peds.rpf. Once we're inside of this folder, all we need to do are take the files that we want so we can install one of these or possibly all of them and simply drag and drop them into this folder over here. The program will freeze for a second or two, and eventually we'll have all of these files imported. Great. So then it says to open add-on peds editor.exe and add ped. So I'll open up add-on peds, which I must run as admin. Then I'll go ahead and click peds and new ped. Then inside of here, we'll insert some of these names. So we'll insert CW reverse flash. I'll simply slowly double click on it to go ahead and edit it. And I'll control C to copy the name. Pasting it in here, this is what it looks like ped type, it is a male, and is streamed, we have this little help information down here. None of them have folders, so is streamed will always be set to false for these ones. Then I'll hit add ped, peds, new ped, and I'll do the same for reverse flash glow. Add ped, peds, new ped, the flash. Then the flash 2024, the flash S4, and then finally CW zoom. Done. Now that we're done with all of this, all we need to do is click Rebuild. OK. Then you'll get here saying place INI files into the scripts slash the flash files suits. Opening up the scripts folder, you'll see a lack of a folder called the flash files. All we need to do is download the actual flash mod. This will also be linked down in the description below. Getting across here, all we need to do is click download. Then we'll be taken to Patreon. Scroll down, click the flash.zip. Then we'll click on it to open it, and we'll have these files over here. All we need to do is extract this the flash.oiv onto somewhere like our desktop. Then looking inside of OpenIV, I'll go to Tools, Package Installer. I'll then select this OIV as such, and I'll get this pop-up. I'll click Install, and then what we need to do is click Game Folder over here, followed by Install. Then hitting Close, and heading back to this Scripts folder, you now see the Flash files, and inside of it, a HUD folder. Though what we need to do is create a suits folder as such inside of the flash files and go into it. Then we'll open up INI and drag all of these out into here. We can then close out of the INI and we're basically done. From here, we can go ahead and open up the game and we should have a working version of add on peds as well as the flash mod. As for controls, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll go ahead and find out as we go. So at this point, I was opening up the game, loading into it, and as soon as it was about to drop me into the game world, my game was crashing out completely. I had no idea how to fix this, but going through a couple of forums and things, they mentioned that the CW Zoom model may be causing this issue. So to solve the issue I was having here, I simply opened up add-on peds again, and I selected CW Zoom and went to peds followed by delete. That just deactivated it, I didn't have to go and remove any other files. Though of course, I'm pretty sure it was just the zoom model causing it, though to be safe, I removed about half of them. 
so I removed both reverse flashes as well as CW zoom and flash S4. I left only reverse flash, the flash, and the flash 2024. Then I went ahead and clicked rebuild and launched up the game, and this time it worked a little bit better, though I was still having issues. Turns out that I was missing a couple more mods. Okay, well, for some reason, some of those other ped models didn't seem to work. Anyways, now that we're in the game, we can hit L to bring up the ped selector menu. We can choose add on peds and choose a character. And boom, we are suddenly turned into that character on the Grand Theft Auto 5 Epic Game Store version. Now, of course, we don't actually have any superpowers. Why is that? Well, we just changed our skin. In fact, we can go and change it to something else if we wanted. As such, Superman or Flash 2024, etc, etc. I deleted probably more of those than I should have, as far as I know, it's just the zoom model. So what we can do is we can hold Q for the next menu. And for some reason, these superpowers aren't working, though checking the installation notes for the Flash mod, checking this line over here, nibsh.net and the nib mods menu is required for it to work. So heading across to that link, it takes us to this Patreon page, and I'll go ahead and download this zip over here, open it up, and inside of it, we have this OIV. So I'll go ahead and extract the OIV onto, say, my desktop again. I'll close out of the game, and we'll head back into OpenIV. So package installer, and I'll put the OIV file in here, set up package, and then now we see this, install, and we need to choose game folder, install, and we're done. Now things should work as expected. So I'll go ahead and launch up the game once again, library GTA 5, and now we'll wait for it. And there we go, now that I'm in game, I've simply hit control M and this window's popped up. So using the numpad eight and five, zero to go back, five to go into something, I'm actually going to go into toggle powers, the flash, I'll select a ped model, and I'll select toggle powers. Then at this point, something else rather unexpected happened. Basically, this mod is now a paid only mod. You can activate a free trial. Eventually you'll get a pop-up. Then you can go ahead and press four to open up the trial access page. It'll open up a page and all you need to do is click activate trial period. And then you'll get to a new page. For me, this didn't load at all, though after a while it eventually popped up with a logo. At this point, I closed out of it, headed back into the game and hit insert to reload the mod. Then I tried picking my character again, and things worked a little bit better this time around. Then, once we're back in game, I'll hit insert, and we'll hit control N again. Then, toggle powers, the flash, I'll select the skin, toggle powers. Our screen will dip to black, and we'll spawn as a ped. This time, when we run around, we'll see that we travel at a very, very fast speed. In order to stop that, we can hit control, and we're back into walk mode. Hit control again, and we're back into fast mode. <laughs> Holding down Q, we can bring up our powers menu. We can go ahead and select something. And of course, clicking will use it. So of course, it's a lot of fun. It's unfortunate that you need to actually pay to use this plugin for more than just the free trial. But hey, that's what the developers decided, so that's what it is. Anyways, that's how to get at least a working trial version of this installed. But of course, if you choose not to use this flash mod, you still know how to actually use the ped mod. So if I were to hit L, I could probably go ahead and change my character and still have these powers. Let's find out now. No. Well, anyways, now you know how to install ped models and of course get that flash mod working on the Epic Games Store version of Grand Theft Auto V. Anyways, this video took far too long to create, trying to fix things and figure out what's going on. Because now, of course, you need to pay for the plugin. Things didn't work exactly as I expected the first way around. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.